Karnataka and other rishis with him looked at Sudha the Mahamuni and said, Disciple of Vyasa, you know everything. Veda Vyasa asked the Pandavas to do Parthivalinga Puja to get rid of all miseries and for good things to happen in their life. He also explained them the way to do Puja. You should tell us that. On hearing that, so the Mahamuni meditated on Lord Shiva and began to tell. Sages, you all asked a good thing. Whenever a person encounters with unbearable miseries at that time, to get rid of those miseries and for good things to happen and to attain mukti, he should go to a good guru. He should humbly get mantra upatesh from him. Daily take bath and worship as said by guru. The time before sun rises is called as ushas. Wake up at that ushas time, defecate and brush the teeth with Shiva devotion. Pray to Guru, take bath thinking Lord Shiva's names and the names of the holy rivers. Say Lord Shiva's names and do asamana, that is accustomed to cleanse our body internally by sipping in water. After that, apply the holy ash at 12 places in the body. Clean the place with water. To get rid of the sins done on that day, do the respective custom. After that, with Moola Mantra, do Prana Pratishta. Illuminous Lord Shiva is in heart. Think that Lord Shiva should cleanse the body such that the Jabha done becomes Siddhi. Finish the Pitru Darpan saying Shiva Mantra. Offer water to Sun God and pray to Him. After that, go to the Puja place. First, do Puja as per the right method to Ganesha, then to Devas and Parvati Devi. Then, do Parthivalinga Puja as per rules. Before doing Parthivalinga Puja, take sand from a clean place, saying the mantra Om Shreem Ashtamurthaye Namaha. Check if there are no insects in that sand. Collect every day. If that is not possible, you can take on Krishna Paksha Sadurdasi the quantity of sand required for one month, saying the mantra. After bringing the sand, say this mantra and do the sangalp. After that, Say this mantra and meditate on him. After that, start the Shiva Puja. If saying this much mantra is not possible, then one can think in mind, I meditate on the Divya Mangala Swarupa of Lord Shiva and do Puja. Saying Haraya Namaha, take the sand. Do Shiva Ling, adding water to it, saying Maheshwaraya Namaha. Give life to it, saying Sulapanaya Namaha. After giving life to Shivaling and doing Prana Pradishta, say Pinaya Namaha and do Avahana to invoke Lord Shiva in that Linga. First do Puja to Nandi Deva and Pramadaganas. Only after that one should do Puja to Lord Shiva. Saying this mantra, pour water onto Linga as bathing it. Saying Shri Sivaya Namaha, offer or put Vastras like Dhoti or Angavastra. Saying Shivaya Namaha, put the sacred thread on Shivaling and apply the holy ash, Chandan, Kumkum, Akshita, decorate him and offer flowers to him. Saying Shivaya Namaha, offer Dupa, Deepa, Naivedya, Tambula and Camphor Arti. Say Yajmanaya Namaha and ask him to pardon if anything wrong is done in the puja. After that, meditate and do Mantra Jabha. Along with this mantra, also chant the mantra that Guru gave as Upatesh. Then one can reap immense benefit. When doing mantra japa, we should do with perfect mind, dedicated towards Lord Shiva. Mantra should be chanted at least one not eight times. After that, do darpan, sprinkle the water in kalash on head and meditate on Shiva. Requesting to give good benefits for the puja done, do puja saying mantra, Offering Akshita, sandalwood paste and flowers to Lord Shiva's eight forms, Ashtamurtha. Honor playing the Nurutya Gita Kalla music instrument. Having Akshita and flowers in hand, I am yours. I have kept my thoughts and life in you. You bless with all comforts. Ocean of mercy, head of all, appear before me. Knowingly and unknowingly, I have done the chanting and puja. 
it should get fulfilled with your mercy i have done big sins you are best in making even the sinners a holy atma think and you can do as you wish even vedas and purana siddhantas cannot realize you how can i realize you even when i have done sins i rely on you you only should protect me saying so offer the akshatas and flowers in hand over lord shiva's head and pray say devaya namaha and tell swami as you have showed mercy to me for doing puja now yadasthana that is now you can go to your place and take a boat for tomorrow's puja saying so can do visarja that is immersing parthiva linga in water say this mantra and complete the puja while doing puja you can do homa and offer food to brahmans after that you can do your worldly works if you do shiva puja like this what do you think will happen as adi shaiva say only this puja has to be done if they are not available then we can do ourselves the akshata and flowers offered as archana to lord shiva can be kept on head there will be no problem for people who do puja like this whoever does this puja for 6 months will become jeevan mukta that is while living in this world itself they can attain mukti and can get liberated from the cycle of death and rebirth they will become capable for giving boons or cursing on seeing them itself one will get the benefit of serving lord shiva with the vyasa and other rishis have said this krishna and others have done parthiv linga puja whoever has heard this will get all happiness so the mahamuni said so to naimasaranya rishis